recording. So Kazi was saying that what happens if you have 1200 quantities in the sales order, EBIS will now split the line into two. 1000 will be what happens will be going to abating shipping. The 200 will be back ordered. <coughs> Beautifully done in EBIS. <coughs> Here it doesn't progress at all. So we have customized a do which is not having any reservation at all. So we are going to drive the sales order in our do actually. I click on it. So we'll not drive the sales order in our do actually. We'll now go there. So first of all, we'll now save the record now. And go there. So that was the advanced shipping two actually. Expand it. Expand it. Expand it. Go the OMP, so this will be advanced shipping two actually. So advanced shipping two is there. So this will be advanced shipping three actually. And the 11th one, and rename it. 11th is what? Advanced shipping three. Right. Advanced shipping three. I will now rename it also. Yes, this one is small. It is advanced SHIPPING. Advanced shipping three. Now the current one will be advanced shipping four actually. Right. The current one which I'm going to do, the current session will be advanced shipping four actually. I will be uploading everything after the class is over actually. You got it? So now what I'm going to do is I will now create my order type for this. Now go to the placement. So click on cancel. We will now create our order type actually. Mm -hmm. and, and now the now the introduction of order type. Yeah, yeah. Now we have to create an order type. Manage order type. <clears throat> So create an order type for what happens is no reservation actually. You go to the manage, not change order. It is making order lookup, sorry. It is not order type actually, order lookup. You go to the manage order lookups now. There you create what happens, one line type actually. It is percentage, O-R-E, line, percentage, line, line, percentage, something like that you go. What do you mean? So click on search now, find O-R-E line. So it is O-R-E, D-O-O -O line types. So that is the lookup name. The lookup name is what? ORA DO line types now on the manage order lookups. So select it and then we'll now create a one now. I click on trust. Let me get a new one. I will now say it's a C01. I will now say no underscore res, no reservation actually. And then let me, what happens? The display it in the second itself, and the list of values will be coming in the second itself. This is what it means. And then this is what the descriptions. So in the list of values, it'll be coming. When you drop down, it'll be coming in the second actually. You can choose whichever way you want. Right. So I have now completed the line type creation actually. Any doubts? Line type creation from my technology. Now we will now create our orchestration process now. Right. It's called manage percentage, my sales percentage, my order percentage. So you go to the manage percentage, sales percentage, order percentage. That is the last name here. You go to the process assignment rules for the sales orders. So manage process assignment rules for the sales order, the task. Fine, click on it. You must have the application implementation consultant role for creating or what happens to doing all this task actually. If you have a AZ role, you can very well do it. Remember, right? It is not having any relationship to order management. It is a generic task. So go there. So click on it. Here, what happens? I am now going to create manage orchestration assignment roles. So let us now go there and then create a new one now. What is this? What is a new one? Create a new role. So click on the create new role. And then always have a habit of giving the name and description very properly because so many guys would have written so many rules. In reality, it will be plenty. So you must understand by the name actually. Right? Always have a habit of giving a proper name. Right? Otherwise, you will be confused about what this rule is going to do. Right? Click on it. I will not click on edit now. Right? Click on edit. I will not say what happens is C01. Right? No reservation. So I am now writing appropriate name. Now. Right? Click on it. So I will not take a copy. Right? And then also... In the description, if you possible, you can even describe to a greater extent. Actually, if I click on it and then describe it to a greater extent. So this is basically what happens a good what happens a way of doing it actually. So go there, click on it, condition, so click on it, <clears throat> and then here order line type actually. So if the line type is going to be so and so, fine. Choose the line type and then drop it down. I will now say what happens is equal to <clears throat> what is this. Uh, it is not line type, no? It is not coming. It is the uh, order position and line type. 
why my line type is not coming? Line. Just type line and it will come. Uh, okay, line type. Okay, fine. Line, if you choose it, what happens? It will be coming. No. Line type, I'll not choose it. No. Or a full fingered line type, actually. Is equal to, fine, brother. So, is equal to, okay, fine, is equal to, fine. Click on the magnifier icon. So, click on search now, fine, brother. So, my C01 has to come now, fine. My C01, no reservations there. Right now. I will not choose this. So, if the line type is going to be C01, no reservation, click on OK. Fine. This is the if condition. You can even write multiple conditions and and all. So, depending upon the need, you will be writing. Fine. Click on then and then do. In the then, you go to the do now. Fine. I will not change the process name basically. If you click on it, you will not change the process name. Process name, I am going to change it. So, here, custom do C01, you have to choose. Everything is custom do. So, this is the one. Always write with your three letter prefix. Otherwise, what I mean, you'll be confused about who has created which reservation actually. So, if somewhere your three letter prefix has to appear there. No? And remember, then only what happens, you can very easily, because everybody is working on a common instance. And so, you create your custom do with your number somewhere. Now, click on it. So, click on OK. That's it. My rule is ready. Any doubts on this now? You can even go for hundred and all fines. There are so many complex things you can do now. It's a very big process. Fine, click on seven close. My C zero no reservation is ready. Fine, click on seven close. Now, Nano, you, where did we specify that it is not reserving? You have already removed the reservation. Cancel reservation. Create reservation oh, and okay. change to cancel reservation. Remember? Cancel reservation. Okay. We made it as cancel reservation. Remember? Is mine. Okay. While doing it, yes, sir. When we are uh, when you are watching it again, please take notes. No fine. Otherwise, it will be very difficult. Yeah, yeah. You can't, yes, sir, yes, sir. My people, my used to say, sir, you are running some 30, 40 videos. How come we can run all these things in the field? So, no time at all. <laughs> fine. You will be finding it very difficult. And then if you ask a question, I may not be remembering it actually. Fine. I may not be remembering it actually. So it will be very difficult. So click on publish. In which video, what is there? I don't know. I will not say simply go through one by one here. <laughs> so click on publish. We have to publish it. So once when the rule is created, we have to publish it. Click on publish. We have to publish it. So once when you publish it, the green icon will be coming. I will not say no. I will not see where is your this thing now. Fine. C01. Uh, see how many people have created so many rules actually. Why do C01? No rest. It's also not visible here now. Fine. Can we search for it now? I know that. Active rules, inactive rules, all this. Okay, we have to first of all make it as active also. There is another thing we have to do before publishing it. Now, fine. So search for C01. Fine. We have to make it as active actually. C01, you go on and search for it now. We have to make it as active actually. Fine. There is another thing I do now. Not coming at all. Close it and go there. Right click and then what happens? There? Duplicate it. <clears throat> Again, go there. So click on it. Sometimes what happens is Nakara Karta. I will not go to the manage. Click on search. We have to make it as active also. Right? Manage percentage, right? sales percentage, right? order percentage. You go to the manage processes and tools for sales orders. We will not try to find out the C01, but it's visible here. I will not die. We can do it. Otherwise, we have to search for it. It's not visible, no? So I will now go for C01. And then click on the magnifier icon. And click on the C01. No reservation has to come. We have to make it as active actually. So only when you make it as active, then what happens? The further activity can be done actually. Otherwise, it will not work at all. What is happening here now? So we already have this now. Click on it. We already have it in the other browser actually. My instance, let us now go on and try on this now. Okay? Because the instance may not be working properly. Sometimes some some particular task may not work properly in some, some browsers. So you switch over to some other browser and then do it. Do so you need to log out and log in back no, no, for this one? No, so we don't do it now. It doesn't load now. Click on them. You know, log out and log in and then see nothing. Click on it. So then sign out and sign in. So we will not close all of the screens now. The screens will be closed. We will move the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> this also will not close. Monitor also will not close. 
Ah, he was instead of a minus. So here, I'm not going there. Click on it. I'm not going to the manage sales orders. Click on search. Manage percentage. Sales percentage may order percentage. I'm not going to this place. Let me reduce the size so that what happens, I can see it now. Reduce the size of it. And I see the C01. Nana, there is one small dot on the uh, next page below. is there, Nana. Next, next page. Next page is also next there. Page. Oh, dot, dot. Small, small dot. Small dot. It yeah, yeah. This on the bottom now. Okay, fine. Next page is yeah. also. Fine. Take on. Maybe it is. It is in inactive status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's there. Second it's one from last. Now. So we'll now have to make it active now. Thank you for it. We'll now order as make the activate rule and then give a start date now. Fine. We can give the base date or yesterday days also. We can get on it. Now going to be effective. And save and close. Now what happens? It will now become a green icon. It will now become a green icon. So go to the second page. And click on the second page. No, no, no reservation is given. Now you publish it. So make it as active and then put a start date, yesterday's date, and then click on publish. Now it's published. The action will publish all the actions. Now it is preferable to what happens a log out and log in after this major change actually. Fine, close it. Any major changes, what happens? You have a habit of logging out and logging in. So this also is not close, no fine. So let us know log out and log in and then create a new sales order for this. No fine. Sign out and sign in. And and, and Nana, where we where we will give this line type where yeah, we are going to mention... we are going to oh. give it. We already seen it. Okay. No, I already shown you about how to give the line type. No, you that is okay. But it. where we will mention this in the order? Yeah, we have done it. Come on, we have forgotten it. Okay. That is why what happens whenever you are working on uh, any of my videos, take notes now. Fine. Otherwise, no, 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 I, re I remember now. No, no, I remember. Oh. So click on create order. Otherwise, what happens? You'll be forgetting it actually. So many things are being taught. So if you take a notes, the crisp notes, if you take it, what happens? You do this and then afterwards do this and then after do this. Something in whichever way you understood. Fine. Go we'll now go there and then what happens? The C0106. Now, fine. It is the what is the sixth item, isn't it? The sixth item. And then what happens? They give a tab. I will not go for the two variants actually. No go for that. So you click on search, no fine. For the two variants item. So this is the one fine click on okay. I will go for thousand two hundred quantities. Thousand two hundred quantities, thank you for that. And then click on add. Now fine. The price is coming as one because all items price is applicable for this no fine. So here what happens is we are going to give the line tape actually. Yeah, remember. Go down, go down. You're going to give the line tape. So line tape is there fine. Drop it down and then choose yours, no fine. I have no reservation. Choose your line type. Now it will be driven by my do actually. My custom do will be driven. Always have your own. Fine. Simple buy also you can have it because otherwise people would have customized it. Fine. Even a simple buy also you make it and then drive it on your do now. Fine. Otherwise, what about the generic process will not run at all. Fine. Be sure. Nana, can, Nana, can we default also for our? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... all possible, but I don't know how to default it now. It's all possible. Fine. Whenever you go there, what happens? They can wait. But you make an R and D on defaulting. Man. That term has to come automatically. Man. There are so many defaulting rules are there. So with the defaulting rule, we'll be having a look at. I have a very minimal knowledge on defaulting. So whatever I know, I will not. Really Maybe we can wait. When you specify the order type, sir. Maybe it will default. Okay. Yeah. Everything we have to write manually. When defaulting is again a concept yeah. which we'll be learning it later. Now, and not next week also. Next to next week, probably we'll be learning it. When defaulting. Is. Yeah, it will depend on order of times. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. How to write? Fine, that is what it is. Fine. Defaulting rules, how to write? That you had to learn. I click on something. I will not teach you about Then afterwards, you make an R&D and then write so many defaulting. So click on something. Also depends on which line type you are going to use maximum, right? You will default only that, not the every... Defaulting is basically a customization, basically. Fine. So okay. you can customize in whichever way you want. I will teach you about how to, how to use the defaulting. And then afterwards, you make an R&D and then see what that uh, line type has default of this. So 99928 is now submitted. This time, it will not progress. It will not have any problem at all. It will be getting, what happens, interface to shipping execution. Now, it will not have any issue at all. Because what happens, it is now running on what? If you go to the actions and then go to the what? Uh, if you go to the fulfillment lines and then have a look at it. So it is now running on my custom do now. If you go there, you have a look at it. So it will be running on my custom do, not the generic do actually. You go for that and then click on the orchestration process number. You can see in the top, my custom do is now running, not the generic do. So this reservation is not applicable for this at all. I click on refresh. After the scheduling is completed, what happens? It will now say, reservation is not applicable at all. It 
to bypass to next stage right yeah yeah now a cross game scheduling oh god i made a mistake actually i have not given the arrows at all <laughs> so scheduling has failed actually so create scheduling has failed because what happens i have not given the arrows in the header so we can even modify this what you can do is what happens you can go there we'll not edit the line actually can click on the wrong so i have not given the arrows actually you know that one i will not add the arrows you know that one i will not go to the actions and then edit the line and go to the actions and then click on edit line i'm going to add edit the line so since i have not given the header we can even edit in the line level put the arrows man over there i will not put the arrows man c01 <clears throat> what i have not i want to this my child and when you are editing the arrows what happens you have to clear the what happens your shipping method if shipping method is not clear what happens it will not work at all whenever you are updating the arrows actually i'm not updating it and then here i can even override the schedule with this now find whether the scheduled ship date will not going to be now wrong find i will not going to ship it on 14th and then the scheduled arrival date find whether to know they are only for information purposes only it doesn't have any functional control actually we are informing that what happens you not ship it on 14th it is expected at your place on 24th but everything can be done today itself we can override the schedules but whenever you change the warehouse remember you have to clear the contents of the shipping method remember otherwise it will not work at all please take a note of it when you are running it again right when you run the videos again so there are so many nitty gritty points i am now uh, now and I, now and then i am telling it right so when you change the warehouse right clear the contents of the shipping method otherwise what happens it will not work at all it will fail actually the changes will fail when you do the what happens when you run the recover the process what happens it will now show some error out now what happens the user request is now coming and right? if you click on refresh it's okay there is no need to recover actually when you want to press see whether it works automatically or not otherwise we have to recover no see so now once when the user status is no tick mark that means what the change has been accepted by the system of and click on refresh i'm doing it now so it is now under progress actually we have to wait for the system to accept it we'll now see whether without refreshing it recovering it whether it uh, it goes away or not so the tick mark has to come that what happens the warehouse has been updated on the line level even though order level is not having it line level you are updating it actually refresh it taking a little more time actually actually this basic process uh, they should have given it as a seeded value something <laughs> very strange <laughs> what to do right. there are so many ifs and buts are there fine remember i learned it in uh, the redwood shows for elite quarters i gone there and then there they, they taught me and then the jd edwards team is the dominant team actually of uh, developing it actually i was a oracle employee at the time so i was trained in the redwood shows in california Was it like ten years ago, no, no. Yeah, yeah, ten years ago. So now the user request state is not tick mark, and then this has now gone. Now, now what happens? It now come. So the error is gone. So if you go there and then have a look at the orchestration process, what happens? It will have progress to what? Uh, waiting shipping it. Schedule is not completed. Fine, brother. Scheduled when oh, tick mark is wrong. Reservation will be unapplicable. Fine, click on top. No, reservation will be not applicable. Actually, reservation is not applicable, and then it will be getting interface to shipping in English. So remember, header is not having any arrows, but line level we have updated the arrows. At line level, so it is not going to the next. Now we go there. We will not right click on the duplicate. Now we are going to launch the pick release actually. Before which, what happens? Uh, this item is not having any serial numbers, and so what happens? It won't be having any problem at all. So click on this, and then I will now launch the pick release. Right? I will now go to the place. I will now go to what inventory overview. I go to the shipping now. I click on the shipping. Click on it. I will now go to the shipments. I will now go to the what manage shipment link. What is the order number? Two seven two eight nine 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 two eight. Ah two eight. Ah two eight. I will now go there. Order number is what? Nine 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 two eight, and then make it as before, and then launch the pick release. 
Now the line will be split into when 1000 is now, what happens? It will be staged and then 200 will be back ordered actually. We go there. So I will now go to actions and then go to peak release. Now, what happens? The line will now get split into two. The line will be getting split into two. It is now getting split into two. So I will go there. Save and close and then come out of it. Main line, you come over here and then make a search. Now. Okay. Click on it. Make a search. So click on search now. Click on search. And then give a cancel and then come to the main line. Now, I go there. Still not updated. And the concurrent is still running actually. So click on search. Now, what happens? The thousand is now released to arrows, but it is the process. It would have gone to stage also. Fine. It is in the process. And so, what happens? The intermediate stage is not showing you. Fine. Click on search. It will be staged actually. It is now staged, and then 200 is back ordered because we don't have any material at all. Got it now? Fine. Got us. Go there. So, upon booking, the custom do progresses to awaiting shipping. And what else? So, now what happens? I am not going to create a shipment for our order actually. I am not going to create a shipment for all So I will go there. And then here, what happens? The shipment is already created. For the back order item, it doesn't create any shipment at all. Otherwise, what happens? We have to go there and then create a shipment actually. So now uh, the deal gets printed to one, one is thousand and two hundred five dollars. When the carrier arrived, the shipping person found a dent in the corner of a carrier, and it is not fit to carry the entire thousand quantities. Fine. This is the scenario. The entire quantity cannot be put on. So the driver is assuring that I will not get one more vehicle immediately. And that can carry 75 only. So this one can carry only 900. So the balance 100, he is saying that I will not send one vehicle immediately. That can carry only 75 and not the entire 100. So this is a very famous scenario. Fine. So this happens only in India. Not overseas. Overseas, <laughs> if you ask for a vehicle for 1,000 quantities, they will not send a perfect vehicle which can accommodate all the 1,000 actually. Or you can even accommodate more also. Whereas in India, Ulta pilta oda oja tiye. Fine. Get dent here, and then the dent there, and then you will not be doing it. <laughs> here. This is a very famous scenario in India, actually. Now, what I'm going to do is I will not ship the entire thousand quantities actually. Fine. I'm not going to make a modification of the shipping rules. You will not go there, right click and then duplicate. You're going to make a modification of the shipping rules. So manage ship confirmation rules. Right click on it. So go to the setup and maintenance, and then we will not make a change on this. Click on it. So click on search and click on search and then go to the manage. Ship confirm rules. Mm -hmm. uh, now you will say unshipped quantity back ordered. No, no. So here, what happens if you go there and then query your C01? There's the C01 here. Search for C01. And then entry now. I will not go on the in. So, if you say requested quantities, the entire thousand will be shipped. Right? Now, what I say is ship quantities. Whatever I mentioned there, that will be only be shipped. Right? Fine. That will only be shipped. Right? Ship the requested quantity only. Fine. Go there. I will not say what happens. You go there. And then what happens uh, if option of options in shipping quantities are not manually entered? If I am not manually entering it. Fine. Here, what happens? I am not manually entering for 25 quantities actually. Fine. 25 quantities are not manually entering it. So those quantities, what happens? You stage it, but do not create a shipment for them. Got it now? Fine. Options if shipped quantities are not are not manually entered actually. So here, what happens? A thousand will be shipped actually. Another hundred will be staged and then kept ready. Not hundred, out of which 75 will be staged and then kept ready. The 25 quantities is what this option. Fine. We can even, what happens is send it to cyclic count also. My student has got a requirement of sending it to cyclic counting, but I don't know how to do it actually. Fine. Say, uh, my company is asking to send it. Say, none of uh, some more other point out. I couldn't find out at all. So I am not staging those 25 quantities. And then I am not creating a shipment for this actually. I will not differ also. I will not differ also. No differing. Fine. So that what happens, it will be getting interface to order, order entry. I will again repeat now, fine, whether. If it is a requested quantities, the entire thousand will be shipped actually. Uh, uh, what did this differ, Nana? Huh? The third, third option. Differ. Your, differ your, means your... what we already seen it. Come on. You have forgotten it actually. <laughs> I have shown the differ now. Fine. While I am doing the first day's training, first day or second day training, I think. Yeah, I was absent. I was absent. Oh, Sorry. God. You have to again watch the video now. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sending inventory updates, 
when you watch what happens there please take notes because it's a very huge topic actually right differ sending what happens is already been explained on the second day's video actually so now i will again repeat now fine so now it can accommodate only 900 fine go there and then what happens there? 25 is the back ordered quantity fine this is called what order quantity for order quantity is not manually entered so those 25 quantities will be staged with no shipment number created for this. Got it now? Fine. So I'm now modifying my ship confirmation rules. So this is only for what you are not entering you now. Fine, not entered manually. Those 25 quantities will be staged with no shipment number created actually. You can have multiple options on this now. Fine. So take on seven close by which one the shipping rule is now modified actually. Fine, go there. No, no. Click on. Well, again, what happens whenever you make such a major change, what happens? You always what happens? Log out and log in. Now, fine. Sign out and sign in, and then do it. Now, fine. Click on sign out. Confirm, <clears throat> and then sign in. Whenever you make any major changes or somewhere else, you feel it. Now, fine. You preferably what happens is sign out and sign in. Now we go there. <clears throat> you click on it. I will now go to the inventory overview. <clears throat> click on it, and then here what happens? You go to the shipments. Now, fine. Click on the shipments. And then go to the manage shipment lines and then put your nine. So they're nine 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 two eight, isn't it? Nine 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 two eight. Yes. Two eight. I'm not putting it. And then click on search. Click on search. No, no, no before. Yeah, tell me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, today is not Bekar log hai, yeah, log yeah, yeah, sab chiz kai ke liye dal ke rakha, pata nahi. <laughs> so there is no meaning at all. And you put it before it is working, and then if you put today. It will not work or any other day. If you put no fine, nothing will work. No fine. Before only works very well. So many unnecessary fields have been added. Fine. Click on search. The delay is not working. And then if you give one. So you got two lines. It is not having this. So here, what I'm going to do is what? I will not click on the shipment number. Fine. Click on the shipment number. Now tell me, based upon the scenario, what I have to write now. Fine. Now, out of 1000, the vehicle is fit to carry only 900. And then for the balance, 100. Your vehicle is coming for 75. And then 25, this driver doesn't know at all. What is going to happen now? You have obviously bad karo yaar. I mean, I can tell you that the vehicle will come. Fine, one car will come. One car will come. It will keep 75. Ra sakta. So, for this scenario, what happens? Now, the shipping man is now going to enter in the bottom. What happens? Go there. So, now tell me, what will be the shipped quantity? Tell me. What will be the shipped quantity? I will enter. 975? No. 975 will uh, not because, uh, because, uh, because it is it can accommodate 900. 900, 900. only, now, fine. So it is 900. Yes, yeah. This vehicle can accommodate only 900. Now, yes. if you go there, so how much will be the back ordered quantity now? 100, definitely, because the leftover is 100. No. It is not 100 now. 25. 75. Hmm? 75. 75. 75. 75 will be back ordered. The remaining 25, what happens is wrong, right? You have to put this on. The remaining 25 is unspecified. Uh, because you're manually putting it. Okay. You're manually putting it. So make a change. And then ensure that your shipping method is now properly set as we have done it now. Fine, go that. You go to the actions now, fine, go that. 25. So go to actions. And then here, what happens? You go to this place, fine, go that. You go to change ship confirmation options. You click on it. Actions change ship confirmation options, man. So this is what we are into now. Right? Ship quantity with the stage, and then what happens? Is do not create the shipment for the remaining stage quantities. Right? So everything is correct. Right? This is all okay. Whatever in the shipping, everything is now coming proper. Now you ship it now. Ship confirm it. So with 975, we are going to ship it now. Right? 975, 975. Right? Click on ship confirmation when right? you are shipping it. Right? Your shipping method is the most fine. Right? No, drop it off. So click on ship confirmation. Right? What happens? It will be split into three lines actually 900, 75, and then 25. The warning is coming fine. Wait in the volume, not that. Thank you, Connor. So, what about 900, and then 75, and then 25? I made a mistake actually. That should have been yeah. the 25, not 75, actually. Yes, yeah, that's why I'm, I was confused. <laughs> because you are telling the system yeah, backward yeah, to 75. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I should have made us 25. So that 25 will be coming. I made a mistake. It should be 25, not 75. Actually. Now, what happens? 275 is back ordered. Can you give me the breakup of this now? Fine. What is the breakup? 200 plus 75. 200 plus 75. 200 is what? With no material. And then 75 is with material. 
that there is no lying assorted on the staging area. No? Fine. There is no lying assorted on the staging area. Fine. Whereas 200, we don't have any material at all. Fine. 200, there is no material at all. Fine. 200 is no without material. And then 75. Now, this line, once when it is interfaced, now sales order will not get split. Whenever this line gets interfaced into sales order, at the time, what happens? It will be getting split actually. Only when the interfaced line comes in, then only order entry will not get split. Otherwise, what happens? It will not get split at all. You go there. There's 99929 is the one. You go there. So click on query. So whenever an interface line comes in, what happens? What is it? 28. 28. Okay. It is the 28. No? So uh, order because split. when it will be interfaced to order entry, then only it will split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only when it is interfaced to order entry, at that time only order entry line will get split actually. You go there, click on this 99928, right? You go there, go to actions and then go to system. So at the time, whenever it comes in, what happens? You go to the full film view, click on the full film view. Now it has got split into 900 and 300. Now, can you give me the details of this 300 now? Anybody? What is this 300? 275 plus 25. 200 plus 75 plus 25, you have to say. Yeah, in actual. 200 yes. with no material. And then yes. 75 is lying in the staged area, fine. Right? Because a small vehicle is coming, fine. There is no going to go. And then another 25, what happens if you go there? It's what happens is a ship staged. removed. There is no shipment number. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. There's no. Now this shipment number is removed, actually. Fine. This is having material. 75 is also having material, actually. 75 is having material. This is no interface. No, fine. Go back and the 900 is no interface, actually. Example, go back and search for that. I should have put there. I would have put 25. I have put 75. It's a mistake, actually. Man, this is not This back ordered 75. Now your vehicle is coming for this 75, actually. So what I have to do now? Tell me. We'll have to release it again. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. We have to launch the pick release again for this 275, actually. For this line, I have to launch the pick release. Because what happens now? A small vehicle has come as assured me. He is now sending a small vehicle immediately to carry the sound effect on it. Sound effect on is he is now going to send what happens? He is now going to send. So, what you do is first of all, you go there and then take a shipment line box. This is already interfaced, and so what happens? The sales order has also got split in no fine. Blue lines are got split. So, this is now having everything. Fine. This is now come as what picked partial now. It will now come as what partially picked. That is the awaiting building actually. This is now partially picked. No partially picked. So you go there, click on it. Now what happens? You go and then create a shipment number. Fine, click on it. We'll now go to what? Auto create shipment for this one. Fine. The shipment number will be different actually. Then we'll go, then we'll go okay. So you simply launch the pick release. Now it will now get to split into what? Now? If I launch the pick release, what will happen? Then go to actions and go to launch pick release. It will be 200 and then 75 will be. Picked. Will the 75 be brought from the FGS to staging or what exactly? Yes. Then click on pick release. Fine. Now tell me whether 75 will be brought from the shipping from the what's called FGS to staging or what exactly is? Yeah, FGS to staging and 200 will be back ordered. No, no way. Because it is already what? lying only on the staging area. This 75 quantity is already lying only on the staging area as an assorted one. Got it now, fine. So uh, if you go uh, and then read this. Number, it. So if you yeah, go there yeah. and then read it, fine, go there, click on it. Yeah, you back ordered from the yeah. shipping point. Yeah. So here, what happens? Uh, 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 the stage quantity is assumed to be repacked and then kept ready for loading into a smaller vehicle. Right, you right. Yeah, but, fine so yeah, because you back ordered it at the ship confirm stage. Yeah, <laughs> I back ordered it. So I should have back ordered only 25, but I back ordered some way. It's now gone there. So now this 75 is now staged and then it is now having this. So once when the vehicle comes in, what happens? We are now going to ship this 25. So click on it. We will not ship confirm this one. Fine, click on it. We are now going to ship confirm. So click on it. 75 is there now. Fine. Now, what happens? Shipped quantity, I am not entering anything. Will it ship or not? That is my question. Now. Will it ship or not? And go there. I will not put this one. It will not ship because you are fine. saying only yeah. entered shipped quantity should be shipped. Very correct now. Fine. Okay, fine. Beautiful. Fine. Is Rajesh M. Na? Fine. Beautifully told. So, because what happens? If you go and then see our parameters now. Fine. If you go to this place, if you go to the what? Change ship confirmation options. Now, fine. Click on change confirmation. Fine. So here, whatever you are entering only will be shipped actually, not the requested quantities. So here, we are not mentioning anything at all. If you are not mentioning anything at all, nothing will be shipped. Had it been requested quantity, then it will not ship everything now. 
if you go to the ship confirmation had it been requested quantity everything requested will be shipped actually now but see so the second option what happens is we have to specifically say how much you want to ship actually so, that, so here we have to say how much is ship so if you put nothing what happens we will not see what happens on this so we have a shipment number for this now fine the shipment number is what 222-252-209 fine over it fine you have not performed the ship confirmation we have not put nothing on this page the shipping rule has been changed fine click on ship confirmation so if you click on the ship confirmation we will not see what happens we will not go on and make a search fine. This for the 75 quantities we will not see it is on stage with the, with the shipment number is gone the shipment number is gone now yeah, so see. since we have not mentioned how much you want to ship because the parameter has got changed actually so it is not going into what is not shipped at all because here what happens you go there you click on the auto create shipment actually you click on the auto create shipment so it's not done so click on it now what happens if you go there and then if it is like this now fine go there you must remember it now fine if the actions the shipping rule is now change one fine had it been requested quantities the entire sound will go if you say ship quantities we have to mention explicitly how much you want to ship and then for the manually not entered quantity, what do you want to do actually? Fine, this is also you're doing. And then I'm not creating any shipment for the 25 quantities also. Fine, this so if it is this one, you have to specify how much you want to ship. If this one, nothing to be specified on the shipment line. Is it clear? Anybody has got it out now? <laughs> Please tell me. This is nothing but a replica of our shipping method. You can override the shipping methods. Our ma managed shipping uh, rules can be overridden. Very complex actually. So go there. Now, what happens? I will not say 75, I want to ship me. So I will not say 75, I want to ship me. 75, I want to ship me. Anything is attracting number one. Now, if I ship confirm, what happens? It will be getting confirmed. No, no, shipment method. Yeah, yeah. Shipment method. Otherwise, it will not do anything. <laughs> so click on it. I will not click on ship confirmation. I click on ship confirmation. Now it's all done off. Now it will get shipped. And nothing will happen. Now it will be shipped. Right. If you go on and requery, now if I click on it, it will get shipped. Right. And then, whenever a billable line comes in, what happens at the time? It will again do this. There's no shift. And then, once when it is what goes to interface, now sales order will be getting further split actually. It will be going into three lines actually. Go there and click on it. And now make a search. And click on search. So, click on search. Click on search. And then, it is no interface. And then, you go to the manage orders and then requery it actually. So whenever any line gets interfaced, at that time only, what happens? It will be, it will be done. You click on drop it. It will not go to three lines actually. It will not go to three lines actually. So go there. It will not ship actually. So the second line is also ship. That is the wedding billing. This will also go to a wedding billing. This will also go to a wedding billing. Now the two twenty five. Can you give a break up now? The two twenty five is now saying what? It is now partially picked actually. Two hundred plus twenty five. 200 of no item, plus 25 with the, what happens, items available on the staging area actually. Got it, Nafain. I have written a lot of notes on this, Nafain. So much of a theory has been written, Nafain. <laughs> Read all this theory, blah, blah, blah theory actually. So much has been given. And then my student wanted to, what happens, is send it to cyclic count also. But it is not happening. He, he management, he was in viewers actually. They say that, what happens then an unspecified quantity has to go to cycle count fine yeah, cycle count has to be created but i don't know how to do it now he was uh, actually sir in ebs there was a default option uh, that we have that option no everything is same whatever option same. Is, everything is same in ebs also and there is no such thing but yeah cycle cycle count count was there. even in ebs no, also i don't know how to do it no it was there cycle count yeah yeah it is there everything there is no change at all it is now put in a different different area sir, but the, the, uh, the functionality is same actually. I wanted to Did you map it. the sub inventory to the cycle count process, uh, Nana? I don't know how to do it, man. but somewhere something is done. Excellent. But if anybody has got a document, because uh, two students still now has asked me that what happens, the unspecified quantity has to go for cycle counting. Because what happens, we are now keeping it in this area now. The problem is what? If you go there, I will not tell you. So the staging area in many, many companies, what happens is the open area actually. So you are now keeping 25, and then at 5 o'clock, what happens? We have to send it for cycle counting and then after counting only it has to be kept on the FGS actually because something might have got stolen or it might have got damaged. Actually. So they would like to, what happens, uh, the items which are remaining in the staging area uh, has to be brought back to uh, FGS via cycle count and not via normal means. Do not make a sub transfers. That's what they say. I don't know how to do it. 
he was totally upset then karo <laughs> i was asking this question for the past 3 years everybody but nobody is giving me an answer actually <laughs> i know that so uh, the, state, the the third one also you can do it from the 25 also you can do the similar fashion so if uh, the option is changed what do you have to do like what happens the ship only the requested quantities then we have to mention how much you want to ship on the shipping area otherwise what happens the shipping number as a punishment it will be removed actually it is staged but the shipment number will go away so only when you mention the quantity how much you want to ship then only what happens it will not ship that much of a quantity at all nana how a csr will know looking at that third line csr has got order. no role to play in the shipping area it is all no, no, no. the shipping manager no 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 at the sales order line third one 225 yeah, yeah. Yeah, he only has to know. No, he will not. He will not have to talk to what happens the inventory in charge. Are you? No, look. No, no, no. Looking at this partially pigged, how much is actually pigged and how much mm. was not maybe, available? How do we know that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you make an R and D on this now and expand it <laughs> somewhere. It will not show. Right? Sales order has got a lot of details now. And how much is partially available? Whenever students get a what happens a ticket on back order, right? They have to dig, dig deep now. And what they will do is what. Uh, i will tell you what they will do <clears throat> so they will not go to the inventory transactions first of all they will not go that they will not go here <clears throat> so you go to the manager inventory over you so they will not see all the transactions which is being done on the particular one so you know go to what uh, you know bring it to the inventory and then you go to the manage uh, what happens the transactions actually so that so in drop transfers manage reservations and pick moment request manage transfer order manage pending. completed oh, completed yeah. transactions you completed transactions they will not go to the review completed transaction and then they will not make an appropriate query on this no fine so uh, maybe a sales order or something like that you can make it now fine that so they will not say 0106 fine 06 and then give it time now fine i want to the appropriate up two variants into account okay. and then they will not analyze all the transactions which has happened so many transactions are so based upon which they will not start to debug the back ordered copies they say it's very very difficult actually You may even have some 10, 15 lines like this. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And then they will not go to the individual transaction lines. Man, click on the transaction number, and then that will not tell you more detail about it. And then they will not go go and then debug. Debugging a back ordered line will be very very difficult actually. Is the sales order picked? And then the... because system should have split third line also 225. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. instead so, of making partial use to say sir i am no stuck on the back order ticket <laughs> uh, i am unable to call you because what happens i cannot explain you everything what is happening in the field actually so what happens it is i only have to sort it out sit and then sort it out <laughs> so many times what happens i will not be able to help my students whenever they have a ticket on back order so whether material is really there or then get back ordered or otherwise what happens there is no material then back ordered how it's all fine you only have to dig deep maybe somewhere nana no sure nana can you not having nana, can you do is having an item of maybe nana can you click on 1 dash 3 maybe something this one na fine yeah the so one one iphone 3 i will not click on the one iphone 3 but also whether it shows there are so up. many things are there fine you have to only make a small r and d on this one mm -hmm. so, no go there click on it so one iphone 3 if you go on and see and go that Now giving a lot of information, so and 200 plus 25, I want to have it. Okay, order and quantity is 225. No, 200 plus 25, it has to show. No, okay. oh God, I don't know where it will not show all this. Old yeah. taxes, everything is not coming. So much of information there, but I don't know. And if you know about it, about how to identify order 225, 200 is with no item, and then 200 is with 225 is with with the item actually. That if you know, whatever they can do. So this completes the final part of the advanced shipping actually. Clear on this now? Fine. Any doubts? We'll have a lot of doubts basically. <laughs> But you only have to sit and then dig and down now. But I have told you about how the shipping area functions. And remember, whenever you make any changes to the shipping methods or any rule, RSR, PSGR, everything, no need to collect at all. shipping is independent of collection only when you are uh, creating a new item and then what happens you are changing the quantity and all what happens it needs a collection and then when you change yeah. an item attribute also no need to collect at all do we need to perform any other uh, processes uh, after ship confirmation is done no uh, yes sir say for costing and for billing yeah yeah costing and all uh, tijil will teach you i okay. don't know the costing order management costing i am not aware of it 
So Tijil will be teaching. Tijil, are you there? Tijil will be teaching the order management costing also. Thing. He will be teaching in his study. Order management. Okay. So my, I know only procurement costing. Procurement costing is fully covered because one girl sat and then they, she taught me everything on the procurement. So likewise, what happens? I had to sit along with Tijil and then because I am now 63 years old. Fine. Only Krishna Rama Govinda, I'm not going to the temple. I'm not what I'm sitting on that. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever a free time comes, no. uh, salute to you. You're still doing it uh, for people like us. Thank yeah, you. we we don't know where we'll be at 63. <laughs> <laughs> not getting the mood to what I was to sit and then learn new things. No so, okay, Tijil is there for everything. And so, what I was, I don't even touch that area at all. You will not teach you the complete. What I was, you are. Uh, uh, what about your costing purposes on order management? Order management costing, he will not teach you. Manufacturing costing, he will not teach you. Fine. He will not teach you even some amount of landed cost management. Fine. So many things he is teaching along with it. His cost and training is not going to give you a complete idea about everything. You are supposed to know it. Fine. The function is supposed to know. Is he full time into this? Yeah, he is uh, working. Somewhere he was actually. He is working. And then uh, he is oh. cost accountant actually in one of the company. Got it. Got it. And then he's working on a full time basis. And then, uh, what happens since the US time, what happens? He works from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. or evening. So, like that, it comes. Then, uh, is session over for today? Uh, that is what I feel now. Fine. Because next is what I have yeah. pricing. Mother's so Day. Shall we, <laughs> 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 shall we begin tomorrow? No, fine. Then next Saturday, we'll not begin the pricing. No, fine. Sure, no. There's so much of a stuff is there. No? How you find advanced yes, shipping? If it is okay, can you put a green tick now? Fine. You, you have to watch the record and then practice, then you can put a go slow icon on. You know, see how many of you are putting a green tick. Oh God. Rajesh has put a green out. Kalidas has put a green out. Venkat P has put a green out. See, oh God, so many. See, SID is saying that he has to, he is now putting a go slow. That means what? He has to watch the record and then practice everything. Now, fine. It's okay. I understand it. So there are so many guys who have put a green tick. Fine. Please take a note of their names. They will be of a great help to you when you are getting stuck on the, on the area now. Especially the back order tickets will be really, really, very tough. Actually. Uh, Sri Krishna, what is the file you shared now? You can send it to what happens, WhatsApp group. I will now upload it into the what's called Sri. Uh, can you send it to the WhatsApp? Yeah, group? yeah, this is actually how to see the 225. Oh, ho, ho, you see can you put it on the WhatsApp group so that what happens, I will now upload it into the drive actually. Sure, sir. He's saying that 225 has got 200 as uh, what happens, uh, no item, and then 25 is the item. So he is now sending a document on the WhatsApp group. So I will now upload that into the drive actually. So that if you know about how to whatever the debug this fine. Debugging is a very big problem actually. Okay, fine. See, you just put it on the uh, WhatsApp group so that whatever yeah. okay. put it on the space. Okay. Yeah. So any this new files you please put it in the new folder. Okay, okay, fine. I will now make one new folder now. Fine. I will now make one additional docs records uh, seven now. Fine. I will now make one additional locks records from one. I will now, whatever now, new things are coming, I will now put it on the seventh one. Okay. Good, good idea. Okay. So try to practice everything. And then uh, practicing is a must actually. Because only when you practice, what happens, it will now go into your heart. Otherwise, it will be very difficult actually. Rajesh, uh, Mastek, is it okay? He's there or not? He has already left it. Rajesh M is also very good. Fine. He is able to understand things very fast. Great. Okay, then. Now, bye for now. If there are no questions, and then we will now meet at 6 p.m. on Saturday, actually. Bye, Nana. Bye. Bye, Nana. Okay. Bye. Good night. Thank you, Nana. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you all. Thanks all. Thank you, Nana and team. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thanks all. Bye. Bye, all of you. Bye. 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 Bye.